so on this area what we've done is you'll see there is some little bits of slab I just put them in just to give us the levels put a fall left to right put MOT 40 mil to dust in uh, whackered it giving it a whacker with it. you see a pretty big whacker there and what I'm going to do now because um, it's been made up around the edges I'm going to put a bit of mesh in but just before I do that I'm going to put some uh, Mipex across the whole thing which uh, like a geotextile uh, over it and then the mesh will go and it will sit on top of that wall the brickwork uh, we'll wire it all together so there won't be a chance of it subsiding there is uh, lots of geo grid type stuff that people use but I've got this mesh so I'm going to wire that all up and then um, we'll get that all paved uh, next week then I'll concrete the mesh in so that will give that a little bit of a nice strong raft foundation around the outside as we've put my pecs now which will spread the load which will help the angle of repose and just to make sure that we've got it I've just got some A142 here which will be on the top of the wall so it'll be sitting on the wall this will have uh, a little bit of concrete around it to stop it um, uh, to create a wrap foundation and then that will stop any subsidence on the around the edge when we because we're going to pave over the top of this the potato sack uh, method and what we do is we'll just pop the wire around okay pop that round like that drop the uh, potato puller through the two and hopefully as we pull up and down it says this one may that's, that's it just so we just literally doing that get it tight just getting there that's it got that one tight just wrap it round so that will hold that and we'll just get a few of those on just to keep this all joined up you could overlap it more uh, if you wanted to um, but this will get this uh, at least it gets it all nice and connected and joined together So what we're doing, just putting a full bed of five to one. We've got a uh, slurry, two parts cement, one part SBR on the front of this one. And then we're just gonna pop that into place. And uh, there we go, we'll just pop that in, into there. And obviously you wanna be knocking them down a little bit, slightly high on this side, actually just a fraction high. I might just take that down a little bit just before I do that. Just a tad. Just a little bit off there. It just saves you having to knock. You want to knock them a bit, but not loads. So now I've got that there. Now, I'm not using spaces because there's too much variability in the slabs, but I am going to have to check the lines running this way. We're having to even it out. Some of, some of these are recycled slabs are quite distinct size and they could be cut down you could cut them that'd be another option but uh, in this case we're just altering the joint a little bit and basically what's happening running all the water so the water's running down that way and we've got a fall this way as well so it's kind of running almost diagonally if you like yeah so again we're just using the slurry a uh, mixture of one cement with SBR, uh, and then what we'll do is just sort of get my hands right. Oops, should do that. So we'll just pop that one in into there. That's following the pattern. And what I've got to do here, I'm trying to get down to the wall so we still see. Um, a bit of orange before the black brick so just sort of getting this down and I've got a line here that's give me the, the the height if you like that I need to get to a good height so it is sort of just dropping down here now unfortunately with these we're not using um, we're not using spacers because it's so irregular and there's such a differential in each slab that you have to use your sort of discretion 
and all you can do is check your lines, use your your big level, just sort of make sure that you've got a you know an even fall across it. Uh, you know that's all you can do really, and, and try and stick to your lines, and try and even out the joints as much as possible. So uh, it is a little bit tricky, but. Uh, We'll follow the pattern, we've got a one now 600 by 600 and then we'll have a little L shape cut here see I did one there to blend in the, I did a, did a cut L shape there um, because otherwise we'd end up with a load of strips and that's not so good, it's okay, it's a solution but not so good so I've decided to you know, cut them in really and try and stick to some sort of bond uh, so we're going to try and get around this bit once we're around there, then at least the, we know the foundation isn't seen and we can gradually tailor it down to the bottom. So what we've done today is uh, it's just started picking up rain in a bit, so we're going to stop, get it all covered up. But it was just about OK to carry on today. You can see we're just thinking about the bed on the left. We've got to work it out. We're going to lay that out dry to work that out. We've put a washing line in the middle to make sure that was absolutely plumb. Uh, and make sure you've got drainage underneath it so it doesn't fill up with water. Um, you can see here a line coming, that's to the bottom of the steps. So we need to make sure that's running into the steps as well. And then obviously it's running over to the right correctly. So levels are really key, so having lines is really important. So, just doing a bit of cutting in here, you can see I've just cut this one and uh, just so that it can finish off that edge. It's quite a, uh, a tricky process sometimes, you just got to make sure you get your measurements right. So just slurry it up the back, and uh, we'll just go to the shop and see how we go. Set it on top, kick it out a bit too. With these slabs, you've got to balance them up a little bit, a little bit this way, just because uh, they do vary a lot, these slabs. So we'll just go down, it's going to take that one down a bit. Hitting something hard there, now if you're hitting something hard you don't want to keep whacking it because there's probably stone underneath. So what I'll do, pull that one out, and what we'll do is just try to find what the issue is there. And we'll just, yeah, it's a bit of stone just in there which is kind of stuck in that. Go down, just rejig it a little bit. So beginning to get an idea here of how it's going to look, see it's nice and wet, just got that top bit to fill in and then we'll be doing this piece down here today. So what we're doing is we're just doing the thresholds, uh, a bit of water here we could have covered up but we've got a bit of cleaning up to do. <laughs> but um, what we're doing is just, just put some slabs in, some old sort of uh, three by two, two by two slabs just to take up the slack and then uh, we're doing just dropping in a little bit of uh, mix there just to wrap round and that's all you do, so all you're doing really is grab a bit, drop it in and it's just sort of that kind of thing just, just to fill it in and then we're going to put the really nice slabs on top, this is all obviously just the under underlay if you like and uh, so we'll do that get that in and then we'll put a decent a decent set of slabs on top and then that will should look quite nice so we've got a pattern worked out uh, Giles has worked out the pattern so we'll uh, we'll have a look at that we'll get the uh, we'll get the nice push slabs on top but underneath it obviously anything you've got that like old slabs is perfect or a bit of, you could concrete you could use MOT and, and uh, compact it but we'd got these so these were ideal really so this was uh, cutting in today a lot of tricky cuts 
around the outside and the idea of what you've got to do is obviously I've got to drain from the wall coming that way across and then obviously it's got to drain from the house from there going that way and what we've done is sort of pick it so it'll just head for that gully down there really um, so that'll improve it and then we'll get the resin on and get it all pointed up still trying to maintain a bond as well throughout it all so just coming around here we use the blower to blow out where there's a bit of water in the bricks So you see the uh, pattern here, really clearly running through, trying to make sure the pattern runs through there. And when you transition from this side into this side, making sure that we've got a pattern running through as best we can. Trying to reduce the crosses and the long straight line joints where you can. So what we're doing is we're just running into a manhole. We've adjusted the manhole. Uh, we've knocked out the top course, dropped it down um, just so that it's the right height. And now we're just running the line in to the top of the manhole and then the other side that'll be run down to meet that of the block paving. So what we've done today is get the paving in. The key thing here was using a line. You can see I've used a line there uh, from there to the top of the manhole which you can see just in the middle of the picture there and then from the manhole another line going up to the top uh, so that's the sort of main job so we've now got access all the way around and then next week we can start reinstating tidying up the the area on the right <laughs> 